What's up, y'all? Hey, guys, it's Steph and Tasha, and we are back with another video. If you are new to our channel, please check out the rest of our videos. And if you like them, subscribe to our channel. If you are new here, welcome to our channel. If you've been before, welcome back. OGB family, I just want to take a second to say thank you. We appreciate y'all. And baby, tell them what we're doing today. Today, you guys, we're doing a homemade breakfast mukbang. We got a couple topics. I got some, a few. Just... Sorry. <laughs> I got a few topics, and then we also have a viewer topic. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's get into the video. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, drink a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? No, this ain't no clickbait. So I'm gonna tell y'all what we have. Uh-uh. Baby, we are not gonna be spilling hot grits all over the place. I'm not, I didn't do that on purpose. <sighs> Shoot. All right, so we got sausage pork bacon, turkey bacon, potatoes, scrambled eggs. We have some sourdough toast. I got some fried eggs and grits, y'all. A lot of food. Yep, and I plan on eating it all. Why? Okay. Because I'm on a diet. Let's look, I got a little. This is perfect. Right here, this is my perfect egg. Just a little run, not crazy. Let me move this one. I got the egg on top of the egg. Idiot. <laughs> Instead of on the grits like I wanted. These, this is good, you guys. Ooh. Try it if you want. So my plan is to try to just eat all the mm. meat and not the potatoes. Mm. But I want the potatoes so bad. So I don't know what I don't know what to do. My plan is to try not to eat the carbs and eat the meat protein. Cause how are you going to avoid potatoes that are sitting right in your face? I, I'm not. No, I'm not. I haven't even touched the meat yet. Mm. So I have pork bacon here. Mm. Oh, mm. I went and got a um a crown right here. So they shaved my tooth down and put a crown mm. on top. So that's the point. Right now it's sensitive. I can't really chew on it that much. It's a temporary crown, you guys. It's not a. It's not permanent, so I have to go back in two weeks. They're making it. Ooh, is that show called? Maybe, I'm not, I don't even know what it's called. What is the thing called? We were watching this lady dive, free dive. Have y'all heard of free diving, y'all? Oh. Mm. You do it with we no oxygen. Did you, we, 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 started started it. we didn't finish last okay. You turned it off. You, I don't know why you, I don't know if you was getting bored or what. But have y'all heard of this damn free diving? Mm. It's mm. where people. I'm sorry. Huh. You probably know them. They pay to the, um die. <laughs> I, I feel like some people's way. adventure. Mm -hmm. And it, it, I think the girl said that she said that in the beginning. She said, "If I die, I die." Basically, okay. people want to die doing what they want to do. I guess, which I can understand. Okay, so they died with no oxygen, y'all. No oxygen tank. Mm -hmm. So just holding your breath. Mm -hmm. Did they say who, what was the record for that? Um, I don't know, but hers, she was doing four minutes. Okay, I saw somebody doing six. Mm. So, what's crazy is I thought if you didn't have oxygen to your brain for four minutes, you'd be getting get brain damaged. I thought that was the thing. Maybe after they, you know, once you train your body to do something, there's people who can stand all kinds of stuff when they, when they train for it. That's true. Like those people that like sit in ice cold water for long periods of time. Um, I guess you have to expand your mm. your body adapts to a lot of stuff. Basically, we some beast you train it to, right? That's why our grandkids gonna look like this, like ET. <laughs> Everybody looking down at the phone. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. It's hard to just try to eat the meat. Right. Like, like mm -hmm. This is me too. Mm -hmm. My thought when I was watching the show is, number one, why? I thought she was just holding her breath long. I didn't know she was actually diving deep. So it's like you can't even come back. Like if you get down there and decide, you know what, I need to take a breath. Mm -hmm. You're done. Mm -hmm. There's no backup tank or anything. I feel like they should have some kind of backup thing that they could use if they about to die. You know, they had some guys going down with her, so I wonder if they had 
something to give her. Something to give her. It didn't look it like it. It seemed like at a certain point they stopped diving though. What do you mean they stopped diving? They stopped diving like halfway down. You they you they showed them. Oh, like the, the people stopped yeah, diving. The other, oh, the other people. Because they don't want to go any further, and then they sit there and wait, <laughs> holding their breath. I, no, I think they have tanks on. Oh, okay. So anyway, the one we were watching, she dove down, came back up, and probably like 20 feet. When did she pass out? She passed out. Um, she passed out right before she came Near up. Near the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. She passed out, y'all. You started seeing bubbles as she got to the top. I don't even think it was 20 feet. It was probably like five feet. Five feet, okay. Mm -hmm. But at the very end of her coming up, there's got people there waiting. Mm -hmm. So I think it's like a thing for them to pass out. Okay. Like it's like they're waiting there to like save them. So who is doing this voluntarily? You know what I'm saying? Like why would you even <laughs> Mm -hmm. Have this as a hobby, career, whatever you're doing. For her? I feel like some people got too much time on their hands. Too much time and too much money. Mm -hmm. For her? She had been doing this since she was a kid. Mm -hmm. I remember she was six or so. I don't know. Yeah. But she would go to the diving place and she said it was all men. She was intimidated, I guess. Or she was just like, ugh, how much men? She was a kid. And she would go down and sit at the bottom of the water for a long time or whatever. And then at some point, she went down and she stayed down longer. Oh, no, they had her in the ocean. And she stayed down longer than the men. So they were like, oh, we got something special here. It was just something she liked to do. You know? Yeah. Well, it wasn't, for her at least, it wasn't about... Unless she started at an early age, like, let me cheat death. But, mm -hmm. you know, she loved... Maybe she was a mermaid. I don't get what it's love about. It. Like, I feel like once you do it once, then it's like, okay. Why you gotta keep doing it? Yeah. <laughs> or maybe, maybe, it's like, maybe it's like chocolate. Oh, like that? Yeah, maybe it's like that. I mean, if it's like that, I get it. I doubt it's that good. Well, it depends on who you with. Anyway, that was strange, huh? <laughs> yeah. It depends on who she with. Mm -hmm. It might be. <laughs> mm. Would you do it for um, money? Would I maybe die for money? Right. I mean, I don't think I'm gonna be, I'll be upset down that long. You mean like try, try to train myself to do it? No. Just go down there. I mean, if they, said, if they said they have some guys with oxygen tanks in I, case you pass out. Mm -hmm. So you might pass out. You might drown a little bit, but they'll I save you. I can't hold my breath that long. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna get down ever. I mean, so no. The answer is no. I'm not going to be able to do it. That's fine. I'm mean? asking you what the answer is. Well, what are you asking me to do? I'm not I'm confused. I'm asking you to dive. So dive until I feel like I can't get anymore and then be like, hey, help me. Are you? Would you dive um, for two feet? I mean, two minutes. Hell no. Would you stand in water for two I minutes? Help you don't think you can stand for two minutes? Mm -mm. The answer is no. I wouldn't. Okay. That's what I wanted. The answer. To me, it feels very like even watching them. It felt very claustrophobic. Like, I feel like I would freak out. Mm. So you would drown? Getting down too low? Yeah, I would freak out. I might freak out before I lose my breath. Yeah. Which would drown you. <laughs> anyway. Right. Ain't nobody got time. But they're going to save you. If you're guaranteed not to die, that's what I'm saying. I don't anymore. trust their asses. How are you guaranteed not to die? I do not trust anybody else in my damn life. I wouldn't do it either. Real quick review on uh, Little Mermaid. Yet. Little Mermaid, you guys. I just finally watched it for the first time um not the original but the new thing i did like this the movie when i was younger so i was kind of excited you know when i saw it was coming out um sometimes i feel like when you go from cartoon to like real people though it's like yeah you know what i mean um i feel like they should have adapted it. it's a little bit better for like real humans i don't even remember okay so when she i like the beginning of the movie and then to me it started to get boring Okay. Okay. So at the beginning, she was under the water having, you know, you know, with her family, and they had the story about that going on, which was interesting. And then she decided she wanted to get up out the water, go get her man. Okay. And when she uh, she she made a deal with like the bad the villain of the the movie mm -hmm. to have legs, but you can't have a voice. Now I thought she was saying you're not gonna be able to sing, mm -hmm. not you ain't gonna be able to talk for the whole rest of the movie. 
Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she literally couldn't say anything. So basically Hallie's but Hallie wasn't talking for half the movie. To me, mm -hmm. that that's when it got boring. Mm. I, I feel like they should have done something else with it being real humans. And then it was so unrealistic. Ain't nobody gonna fall in love with somebody who ain't, ain't saying that you just I don't give a damn how beautiful you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ain't saying a word. I don't even know what I don't know how to communicate with you. Like there's okay. no kind of communication. They you ain't writing nothing down, nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go ahead. Mm. But they were kissing, right? They didn't talk. They, they did. Kiss? The whole goal was for her to get him to kiss her, oh. and then she would be able to stay basically human. Okay. But if she wasn't, then she would have to go back to the sea and basically give her life to the villain person. Okay. <laughs> they should have let her talk. I feel like they should have let her talk. They could have continued with the amnesia of her not remembering that she got to let him make him kiss her, and it would have been much more interesting. So but she she's been doing this all the time. So what? she she knew she couldn't talk? Yeah, I mean... Oh, you mean when she agreed? No, afterwards. She had amnesia. You she was she... supposed to get the man to kiss her, right? Mm -hmm. But when she got up there, the lady made sure that she didn't remember that she had to get him to kiss her. So it had to be a real natural him falling in love, basically. Mm -hmm. That's, that was the whole point. Okay. Yeah. But she, did she still remember that? Did she still remember why she was even there? Because if you have amnesia, <clears throat> you don't remember that he's supposed to fall in love with you. Do you remember everything? She remember everything except for that? He didn't, she didn't remember that. He, she had to get a kiss. That was it. Everything else she remembered. Oh, okay. She didn't remember that she had to get that kiss or else her ass was doomed, basically. Oh, okay. All right. Anyway. Yeah, what do y'all think? I saw mixed reviews on it. I think it could have been better. I'm sorry. Sorry for the people. But... But what people? But the people who loved it, I didn't. Sadly. All right. Well, we got a viewer topic. This is very short. Hi, Step Natasha. Hi. My stepdad passed away August of last year. On July 18th, my mom is getting married to a new man. So she's married now because it's July 27th. My sisters and I are okay with him, but we miss our stepdad. How would y'all go about this new chapter and my mom is taking if y'all were in my shoes? I want her to be happy, but she doesn't seem to be when I talk to her and when we were alone. She said, maybe I'm overthinking. I don't know. How old is she? What she say? I mean, you got to let her live her life, first of all. I would support her. Get to know the step. Not stepdad. Probably not her stepdad, but her husband. Get to know him. Try to build a relationship with him. Hopefully, he's going to be able to you know, make her happy. Because especially since they got married. Um, well, if her husband passed away, oh, I didn't even let you finish. I'm sorry. Uh -uh. <laughs> no. no, I'm not just gonna cut you off in the middle of you talking. You didn't even finish your point. Go ahead. I mean, I, 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 my, that was really my point is over. Really. Okay. So her husband just passed away a year ago. I feel mm -hmm. like she's probably still, you know, mourning. Mourning for him. So she getting married a year. And a year. She's probably pretty still, it is, but whatever. Yeah. Um, she may have been cheating already, or maybe they were friends, or I didn't mean she was cheating, but she could have been, you know, who knows? Yeah, I don't need to know. But um I mean, I'd say ask her if she's happy. Not even about him. Just be like, Mom, are you happy? You don't seem like you're happy. You know, just talk to her. She's a regular person. Ask her. Maybe she'll tell you something, or maybe she maybe she's just stressed. I mean, sometimes people seem like they're unhappy, but it it, it could be stress. Some people can be stressed and that's it. So, you know, your mom will probably be okay. But yeah, I don't, I don't think anything is wrong with talking to her. But you can't, you know, Key, if he's not doing anything bad to her, you know, let her live. You know, it's not bad. Yeah. I don't, I don't really see what her issue is, honestly. Yeah. Is, it, is your issue that you still mourning your stepdad? Probably. Or, wait, it's her stepdad that she's mourning. It's her stepfather, yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe that's your issue. You're probably, maybe you're still mourning him. So you're like, how how could she move on so fast? You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're a little, are you holding some anger towards your mom a little bit because she moved on so fast and didn't mourn yourself by the, the way you think she should have? I don't know. All right, Think's next topic. Oh, okay. Um, topic. How are y'all? We good, thank you. I pray y'all doing well. Thank I need advice on my friendship. We've been friends for seven years since high school. We recently just got into it because I'm, a, because I'm now a CNA and I barely have time to talk all the time anymore. I work a full-time job and I have to come home and be a full-time mom to two toddlers. She as well has two toddlers, but her husband's in the army so she can afford to be a stay-at-home mom. I'm no longer in that position. 
and it is my friend overreacting or am I being selfish? You're being selfish. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> what is our friend doing? I don't think it's either one. <clears throat> what is her friend doing? She didn't say what her friend is doing, but she said they got into it because she doesn't have time for her. So basically her friend must have been like, you don't have no time to hang out with me. Okay. So your friend felt some kind of way. She brought it to your attention, which she should have done. That's a good thing, you know? She mm -hmm. wanted to communicate how she felt to you. Yes. And then at that point, you explained to her what's going on in your life. Not take it in a, well, bitch, I'm busy. Don't you, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you, it's the way you communicate. She should be able to understand that you have more going on with your life now. And you can't hang out as much. But if you, if when she said, hey, you know, I miss you and you ain't even been hanging out with me. Y'all probably got into it because of the way y'all guys communicated it, is what I'm trying to say. Maybe she came at you wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think y'all, you should go back to the conversation and then talk it out, you know, and let, like, from your heart, not, like, from a dis defensive standpoint. And y'all, y'all be cool. You know, friends, uh, I know they get a little touchy when you, uh, can't hang out and do all that, because I got a couple of I'm a little girl situation. Damn, man, I'm busy. Bye. So I think that maybe your friend can, um, since she's so sad about not being able to hang out with you, mm -hmm. maybe she can be at your house before you get there and have dinner ready for you and be playing with your kids, with her kids, with her, with your kids and her kids, and y'all can be a happy best friend family. Why don't you mean? suggest that to her? Be like, you know what? I, we don't have a lot of time, and I do miss you. I could use some help with the kids and then we can spend time together as a best friend family. <laughs> I think it's a great exchange, mm -hmm. a great deal. Then you'll be able to spend all the time. She ain't got nothing to do anyway. She, you said she's a military wife. She, I've been around military wives, okay? They, they want to have ass. <laughs> They want to have fun. So go ahead. I'm sure she'll give her the keys. I bet that is hard on both sides though. Like, cause from the, the person who's working more, it's like, you don't have the energy, you're tired. You got so much going on in your life. So even though you might want to spend more time, it's like, it's hard to actually do it. You know what I'm saying? And then from the other person's standpoint, she's probably lonely as heck. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Where's my friend? She ain't, she over there bored, need, need your time and shit. So I don't know, that's hard. Get it together, y'all. Figure it out. I like Tasha's idea. <laughs> All right. Until next time. Only goodbye. Peace.